Yes, you read the title of this video correctly. You can now undo and redo actions in Kapwing Studio. <laughs> to undo in Kapwing, just hit Command and Z at the same time, and to redo, it's Command Shift Z. If you're using Windows, instead of Command, you'll hit the Control button. This is a feature that we've been thinking about for a long time at Kapwing. It's been highly requested over the years. Everyone at Kapwing is so happy to say that this feature is now available. We hope that this will bring more freedom for creators, allow you to feel less worried about making mistakes, and enable efficient creation while making Kapwing more usable. Go check it out for yourself in the studio. We'll also have a special guest talking about the undo feature toward the end of this video. So just for fun, I'm gonna show you undo in the studio. I made this whole project using a lot of different clicks and actions, and I'm going to undo the whole thing and count how many clicks that takes. Yeah, just command Z, hold both of those down to undo, and then command shift Z to redo. I'm gonna start now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, 108, 109, 110. There we go. So it took 110 undos to go from a fully completed picture to a blank canvas with nothing on it. As a special treat, we also interviewed one of our software engineers to give you a behind the scenes peek into creating the undo feature. Here he is now. Hi, I'm Adam. I'm an engineer at Kapwing and I helped build the undo feature. The undo feature took about, in total development time, about uh, three weeks of uh, like hardcore development. Um, it's ex it, it was actually uh, one of the first um, features uh, we were tasked in like a year ago, I think. It's just, it kept getting tabled because we needed to uh, do a bunch of research on how exactly we were going to architect it. After about a year or so, I, I started and then um, I originally built an undo feature for um, erase background. I took that same kind of ar architecture. It was, a, it was a more basic structure and then I rebuilt it um, for this more complex uh, architecture. There was a lot of testing. Really the first thing we were testing undo with was just changing the background color. If we could do that, that was a good start. Uh, where it got difficult was when you were rearranging scenes or deleting scenes or removing and deleting layers. The most complicated thing was actually groups. Grouping, uh, we recently added uh, to Kapwing. We were trying to decide on how uh, Undo was going to work with groups. In some applications, they don't even handle undoing uh, selection of groups. They, they choose not to because it is quite difficult. You're dealing with multiple layers plus, uh, you know, what was selected and then you have to do all the math for it. So making that work with undo, know, like knowing that we perform multiple actions in some um, undoable events, trying to create the inverse of that action when you're dealing with multiple uh, actions all at once is quite extensive. We're always working on new stuff at Kapwing, so stay tuned for future product announcements. And as always, if you have feedback about the product or any of these videos, please let us know. Make sure to go check out for yourself Undo and Redo in Kapwing Studio.